Hello YouTube, uh, this is Big Fart 7. Uh, I just want to send out a thank you video for making this, my mousetrap car, the second best or second most viewed video of mousetrap car on YouTube. So thank you very much. Uh, for most of you, thank you for all the comments and all the um, messages you've been sending me on how to build this and uh, for your time and patience. So it's been long enough. Now, this is made out of much finer material. I figure I'd show you how to build a mousetrap car this time. Not one of those cheesy starter kits with the huge CD wheels, and it goes a mile an hour tops, and it'll travel about 20 feet and then putts out because it doesn't have enough oomph. Now, I doubt it'll go as far as this, simply because the material is made much cheaper material. However, um, it'll be a very similar body style to this. Um, I will show you step by step how to build it using materials that you can find around your house. And it shouldn't amount to much more than about five or ten dollars in total if you don't already have all the materials you need in order to build the video. So without any further ado, I will show you how to build a mousetrap car step by step. Here's a list of all the parts you need. A pair of scissors, needle nose pliers, a ruler, um, three paper clips, any kind of mousetrap, some super glue, a straw, three popsicle sticks, some thin wire, two juice cap covers, two medicine cups, an X-Acto knife or a razor, a permanent marker, two small wide rubber bands, and a metal clothes hanger. First, start by taking your cardboard, your sharpie marker, and your ruler, and measure out a length and width for your mousetrap car's body. It really helps if you stick to a similar size to these popsicle sticks, because this is going to be your reinforcement, because obviously cardboard isn't exactly as strong as wood. So, the maximum length you should probably go for these, uh, for this car, is going to be right about 5 inches long. And you can either have it, I'd say, a good amount is between 3 to 5 inches wide. So let me go ahead and mark that for you right now. Sorry, just trying to get the idea. Let's make it three inches wide from the corner there. Pardon me, YouTube. I'm trying to do this all by looking through the camera's screen, and it's always it's about half a second slower than my movements are. So I'm just trying to get everything to be straight. supposed to do this now. Still, all right, yeah, let me see if I can balance that with my pinky. There you go. Have your shape cut out for the mousetrap car. Now we can begin to cut. Now, remember, I'm using all this with one hand, so pardon me if I may not get uh, a good shot here, but I'm just trying to be more accurate than I am. Cutting is pretty basic, fundamental. Let me try that again.
what? Oh, let me do that instead. you get to the top layer, makes a bit of a door. And all you do is take your X-Acto knife, poke it through the top, line it up, and cut straight down through the angle. There you have it. Your mouse shut car's main body piece. Alright, now that we've cut our frame, we're going to take our popsicle stick support beams and glue them probably on, yeah, on the outmost side, so it'll look like that when you're done. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue this and get right back to the filming afterwards. Alright, I've done the gluing process. Um, make sure that when you do glue these, depending on your brand of super glue, you might have to apply a little pressure, otherwise the popsicle sticks tend to curl up from the cardboard and it won't be a good secure fit unless you put a little pressure when gluing these. Alright, the next step to add a little more rigidness to the frame of the mousetrap car, take your third popsicle stick and you want to measure it. See how long that is. Looks like that's roughly four and a half inches. So we're going to cut this in half. And it'll be right about two and a quarter. That's going to be right there. Uh, now you want to be careful when trying to cut a popsicle stick, especially if they're craft popsicle sticks like these, because when they dive them and stuff, it makes the wood very brittle, and there's a chance that it could snap right in half. So, now I'm going to set the camera down again. Let's see if I can, using, let's try needing those pliers. Carefully snip at it. Yeah. Got lucky. You got a nice clean break. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to arrange these. You want one, so it's going to be right up front. And you want another, it's going to be somewhere right around here, have a little space at the back, and there's a reason for that, and I'll show you that at the next step. In the meantime, take your two now half popsicle sticks and glue them to the frame right about here. Alright, the glue's been setting for about another minute or so. So, as you can see, the whole thing is now, this is the underside, pretty sturdy now. Alright, next step that you're going to want to do, for this you don't really have to measure all that much, um, just if it's going to be five inches by three inches for the body size, you're going to want to leave, oh, about that much slack for each side. So I'm just going to, you don't need to be very accurate on this. You can just, you know, guesstimate. You know, that looks, that looks good enough, pretty symmetrical. And you're going to want to cut it. Uh, start, I guess, somewhere, a second body's moving on me. Let me see if I can side for the shadow. So the only way I can... Alright. And just sort of, you know, connect the dots. You're going to want to cut out that piece right there. All of this. That's going to be scrapped. I'll go ahead and do that now and show you what the end result will look like. 